1 to 1, 4 10s, 370s, 3 to 1, or even 293s. It might sound like a lot of gibberish when people talk about gear and diff ratios, but there's method to the madness. Here's a quick rundown on what's going on with those numbers. Firstly, let's start at the engine, which makes a theoretical 100 pound foot of torque at the crankshaft. The crankshaft sends this power to the flywheel, through the clutch, and to the input shaft of the transmission. From here it enters the transmission casing itself and spins the driving gear. This driving gear meshes with the selected gear and travels out the output shaft, through the differential and then to the wheels. A gear ratio is worked out by taking the teeth on the driven gear, aka the gear you're in, and dividing it by the teeth on the driving gear, the one coming from the input shaft. So let's say you're in first gear, the drive gear has 10 teeth on it, while the first gear has 25. This would mean that the gear ratio of first is 2.5 to 1 meaning that every time the crank spins 2.5 times, first gear spins once, resulting in that 100 foot-pounds of torque being multiplied 2.5 times to 250 foot-pounds of torque at the output shaft, ignoring friction. This multiplication is why the first gear in cars has so much torque available. If you shift to second gear which has 20 teeth, the gear ratio then becomes 2 to 1. This ratio will result in a great output speed, but at the cost of torque. The 2 to 1 ratio means that the 100 foot-pounds of torque now becomes 200 foot-pounds of torque instead of 250. This recurs all the way up through the gears, allowing output speed to increase at the cost of torque. Most gearboxes will have a gear that is or is very close to 1 to 1, i.e. for every revolution of the crank, there is one revolution of the output shaft. Due to this gear having the least multiplication properties from different ratios, it's the gear that tuners will dyno cars in, as it gives the truest reading without being skewed. 100 pounds foot of torque at the engine will remain 100 pounds foot of torque at the output shaft. Overdrive is also something that you may have heard about especially when talking about classics, but it's just another word for a gear that allows the car to use less than one turn of the crank to cause one turn of the output shaft, i.e. a ratio of 0.99 to 1 or less. This means that the car's engine turns less than once to spin the output shaft one full revolution, bringing revs down when in the overdrive gear and making the car quieter and more livable at higher speeds. So now that the gearbox is out of the way, what's the diff ratio number that you usually hear? It's known as the final drive ratio, and it's the same sort of premise here too. For instance, a 3.73 final drive means that it takes 3.73 revolutions of the output shaft to turn the wheels just once. Again, this multiplies the torque. If it were the engine's 100 foot-pounds of torque going straight to the diff without the transmission, it would then multiply to 373 foot-pounds at the axle due to the final drive's torque multiplication benefits. The final drive number doesn't have a multiple gearing options like the transmission and is a fixed number, although it is possible to swap out final drive gearing to achieve higher or lower overall gearing. Changing to a higher final drive number increases the amount of wheel torque you have available in each gear, however the trade-off is a lower top speed in each gear, meaning you'll be sitting at a higher RPM for each gear at the same speed. To give an example, still ignoring friction, let's use the engine that makes 100 foot-pounds of torque. If in first gear it takes 2.5 rotations of the crankshaft to spin the output shaft, we'd use the 2.5 to 1 ratio as the multiplier meaning the output shaft produces 250 pound-foot of torque when applied to it. If it then takes 3.73 rotations of the output shaft to spin the wheels once, that too is multiplied with the output shaft torque, meaning that the axles have 932.5 foot-pounds of torque being applied to them in first gear. So now when someone tells you that they upgraded to 410s to increase acceleration, or you see someone dynoing in 5th in one car, but 4th in another, you'll know why. 